Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today we're going to talk about this puzzle here, which is made by the company Eureka from Belgium and is part of their Bon Voyage puzzle series. In this Bon Voyage puzzle series, there are several disentanglement puzzles included, and all of them have names like Day Trip, or this one is called Summer Trip. So I would just say I will turn the summer feeling music on and let's have a little bit closer look here on this puzzle. The target of this puzzle is to free this ring from the rest of the parts. And if you look in a little bit more in detail, we can see that there is a cord that goes through all of these parts and connects them to each other. So it starts here on the orange ball and then it goes through here, building this re first reef knot going through here, through the red ring, through the second reef knot that is connected here to the white ball and then inside of the white ball and continues in the green ball. So if you disentangle it, you will have a single cord that starts here on the green ball, then there comes the white ball connected and then there comes the orange ball, okay? And as I already said, the target is to disentangle the red ring. The puzzle is pretty cheap so it's around five dollars and you can get it pretty much everywhere so i will just put you some links in the video description where you can buy it my difficulty rating of this puzzle is a four out of a maximum of five and eurocars rating is three out of a maximum of four so it fits quite well and what i really really like on this puzzle is that the solution is very clever and completely different from what you would expect when you see it the first times just to look a little bit more in detail here on the puzzle, you can, for example, move the parts, build the loop, move the loop around here or somewhere else. But you, since these parts are all connected to each other and only consists out of one single cord, you get always stuck somewhere. So there must be a trick and this trick is pretty cool. And after the spoiler break, I will explain you more in detail what this trick is about and how to solve this puzzle. Well, everyone who will hold this puzzle in their hands for the first time, they will start to somehow pushing these here through, building some big loops, try to move the loops around the other parts, through the red ring, through other loops, and so on. And in the end, the result is always the same, but not the solution. They will end up in a big with a big knot, and um, they have no idea how to get it back in the initial position. So there are several challenges in one. Most of the times, you need to get back into the initial position, and um, the red ring, the problem is this one will always remain where it is and you will not be able to untie it or disentangle it. The solution is a bit different and I really like it because it's very clever and most of the people are not aware of this. I was also not aware of this myself, that this is possible and I only learned it because of this puzzle, okay? So puzzling also educates. <laughs> to explain it to you a little bit more in detail, I will just take here two big cords with two different colors because it's easier to explain as when I explain it here on these small knots, okay? These kind of knots are called reeve knots, okay? And they can be built in several different ways. For example, this one here, the yellow one simulates this small loop here on the, on the green ball, okay? And the red one simulates our rope that uh, our our cord that is connected here to the orange ball and goes through this loop here of the green ball, okay? So, how can we build the reef knot? Well, the easiest way is if we have both ends free, we just move them, we've just built a small, let's say, loop here through the yellow part, and then we move one end and the other end through this loop, connect it, and we get a reef knot, okay? A very famous knot that actually everyone probably have seen already one one day okay so we remove it again and now our problem is that we do not have both ends free so we can use maybe one end we have the loop and we move one end through here we move it around the loop and back through the loop and we get also a reef knot okay but this also does not help us since 
our orange ball here, which is the free end of the cord, is too big to fit through this loop here of the yellow cord, okay? And I will now simulate it by connecting the same condition as here, by connecting the rope on one side to my wrist and, uh, wrist and this part is not allowed to go through here. And this is what I learned based on this puzzle and I was not aware of this and therefore it's pretty, pretty cool. Um, I learned how to build a reef knot without one of the ends going through this hole, okay? And the way how to do it is the following. You put in, uh, you put uh, this piece here of the red cord through the loop of the yellow cord and then you take one end and since you can increase here the size of the loop of the red one, you can put it through here, okay? And this will end up with this strange shape. But now we are able to pull the cord here on this side. And if, if we do this, we pull it through here, through the loop, as you can see, to the other side. And then it builds automatically another loop. And if I take now the end and move it through here, I will also build a reef knot. So I do not have to do, I uh, have to use any of these two ends to put here through as everyone would expect. I build it a total different way. And to release it, I will do it the opposite way. I will just push it back, move it, move the red one around the red one. And then I will, this time I will pull it back in the opposite direction. So I will pull it upwards like this and I can remove it again also without moving this end or the orange ball through the loop. And this is the same, in the same way, I will now solve this puzzle. So I do not need to move, uh, take this um, cord here, move it around and mess up here the complete puzzle. I only need to release this knot and this knot, which seems to be impossible, but, but as we already seen, it is possible. I will just zoom in a bit that you can see it more in detail. And same as before, I will build now a loop. We'll take the orange part and move it through, okay? So it does not really look like it worked, but I will now pull here on the cord, pull it through, and then I will be able to move on and uh, move the orange ball through again, through here again, and it's free. So. We came one step closer to the solution and we just will do the same. We will move the orange ring over here to not confuse us. And then I will do the same again. I will pull here on this side to build another loop like this. Move it around the orange ball like this. And then I will use this one again to pull through the cord from the other side and it will help me to, as you can see, release the second reeve knot and the ring from the puzzle. So this is, I'm not sure what you think about it. I think this is very, very clever and it uses some, some solution that is probably a lot of people not aware of and therefore it's making it very difficult. To connect it again, I will just do it other way around as you have also seen with the yellow and red cord. I will make a loop over here. I will move the orange ball through. Then I will pull it back through the loop and I will move this orange ball through here a second time. And the result is uh -huh, a reef knot. So the ring is already fixed again. And then I will just rebuild here the second reef knot by doing it in the same way again. So move it around the orange ball, pull it back and move it through here a second time. And this solution is so clever and so cool because I will never forget again how to do this <laughs> reef knot okay so i hope you like this puzzle as much as i do and this is a clear proof that puzzling can also educate and it's not only for fun and the coolest thing on this puzzle is basically 
It is pretty cheap, it costs you around $5 or 5 euro, it's available pretty much everywhere. I will put you some links in the video description of course, where you can buy it if you are interested. And if you like this episode, just hit the like buttons, comment below if you understood the solution, if it was explained clearly and um, you can also like of course my Instagram and my Facebook channel if you would like to have more information about puzzles. And until next time, keep on puzzling!